China just revealed a propulsion breakthrough that's turning heads worldwide. An engine so fast, it can circle the planet in under two hours. We're talking about Mach 16 speeds using a jet fuel powered detonation system that could redefine global travel and reshape the future of aerospace. How does it work? And could this be the next giant leap in human mobility? China's newly revealed propulsion system isn't just an engine. It's a leap into the next era of high-speed mobility. The centerpiece of this technology is a dual-mode detonation engine, capable of accelerating an aircraft to Mach 16, or roughly 12,250 miles per hour. That's fast enough to complete a full orbit around Earth in less than two hours. This development marks a major departure from traditional aviation engines and introduces a whole new kind of combustion. The engine works in two distinct phases. From takeoff to about Mach 7, it relies on a rotary detonation process. Unlike conventional turbojet or ramjet engines that compress and ignite fuel in a continuous stream, this method uses a self-sustaining, spinning shockwave to detonate fuel in a circular chamber. The detonation itself releases energy far more efficiently allowing thrust to be maintained with significantly less fuel and improved stability at high speeds. Once the engine reaches Mach 7, it transitions into oblique detonation mode. In this phase, fuel is combusted along an angled wavefront, generating powerful forward thrust. What makes this transition so critical is that it maintains stable performance beyond hypersonic speeds, solving one of the biggest engineering hurdles in high-speed propulsion. This dual-mode operation enables a seamless acceleration from supersonic to extreme hypersonic velocity in a single platform. What sets this engine apart isn't just its speed, it's its efficiency. According to public data, the engine achieves up to 80% fuel-to-thrust energy conversion compared to the 20-30% to efficiency of traditional jet engines. That's a dramatic performance boost that has major implications for how we approach aircraft design fuel logistics, and operating costs in the future. Additionally, the engine is designed to operate at about 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface. This high-altitude operation reduces atmospheric drag and makes high-speed travel more sustainable. It also positions the technology as a potential candidate for suborbital travel, bridging the gap between Earth-based flight and space tourism or point-to-point -point space cargo delivery. Now imagine traveling from London to Sydney not in 22 hours, but in just 90 minutes. This is no longer a fantasy. China's Mach 16 propulsion engine brings this vision closer to reality. At speeds exceeding 12,000 miles per hour, aircraft could leap continents in the time it takes to finish a movie. This engine isn't just about velocity, it's about compressing time. A journey that used to consume an entire day could soon take just over an hour. Flights from Paris to New York could drop from 8 hours to under 30 minutes. In a global economy driven by efficiency, these time savings could open up entirely new possibilities in business, tourism, and human connection. Now consider cargo logistics. Industries that rely on rapid delivery, like medical supply chains, perishable goods, and high-value electronics, stand to gain the most. Instead of waiting for products to travel across oceans over several days, manufacturers could deliver globally in real time. This would restructure international trade, reduce inventory costs, and remove bottlenecks that have long hampered just-in-time production models. The potential extends to humanitarian applications as well. Emergency aid could be flown to remote regions at hypersonic speeds, reaching disaster zones faster than ever before. In situations where time is critical, natural disasters, outbreaks, or urgent medical supply runs. This level of mobility could save lives. Of course, transitioning to real-world implementation won't be simple. Existing aviation infrastructure is not built for aircraft moving at 16 times the speed of sound. New standards for air traffic control, thermal shielding, and emergency response systems will need to be developed. There are also questions about passenger safety at such extreme speeds and altitudes. Thermal protection systems must be able to withstand the enormous heat generated by sustained hypersonic flight, and vehicle materials must remain stable under intense aerodynamic pressure. Economically, the cost barrier is significant. 
The technology is still in early stages, and building fully functional commercial aircraft that use this engine will require substantial investment. However, history shows that pioneering tech, once seen as too expensive, can evolve into mainstream solutions as efficiency improves. While the civilian applications are exciting, the true engineering marvel lies in the ability to stabilize and control flight at such extreme speeds. Mach 16 isn't just fast, it's a regime where physics behaves differently, and minor fluctuations can cause catastrophic instability. That's why China's success in developing a functioning dual-mode detonation engine represents more than just raw power. It's a mastery of combustion dynamics, thermal regulation, and materials science working in perfect harmony. One of the greatest challenges of any detonation engine is shockwave control. Traditional engines rely on subsonic airflow and consistent combustion. In contrast, detonation engines operate with supersonic flame fronts, waves of energy that can easily spiral out of control if not perfectly timed and shaped. The rotary detonation mode solves this by using a continuously circulating shockwave to maintain steady combustion. It's an elegant solution that creates stable, reusable detonation in a compact space. The transition to oblique detonation mode is even more complex. At speeds above Mach 7, controlling fuel injection and maintaining shockwave structure becomes incredibly difficult. The air entering the combustion chamber is moving so fast that traditional mixing techniques fail. Here, advanced fluid dynamic simulations, ultra-fast valves, and specialized chamber geometries come into play. China's reported ability to manage this transition signals a huge step forward in high-speed propulsion science. Thermal protection is another major hurdle. At hypersonic velocities, friction with the air can heat aircraft surfaces to temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Celsius. This requires materials that not only withstand heat, but also maintain structural integrity and avoid thermal fatigue over repeated flights. While China hasn't released full details, such performance likely involves carbon-carbon composites, ceramic coatings, and active cooling systems. Altitude adds another layer of complexity. Operating at 30 kilometers above Earth involves thinner air, lower pressure, and different aerodynamic forces than standard flight. Control surfaces like flaps and rudders become less effective, meaning hypersonic vehicles must rely on alternative methods such as aerodynamic shaping, plasma flow management, or adaptive control algorithms to maintain stability and direction. China's hypersonic engine is more than just a technical marvel. It's a signal flare fired into the sky, announcing a new era of movement, power, and possibility. The engine works, on paper and in tests. But to truly change the world, it needs to overcome challenges in thermal protection, flight control, and affordability. That journey has just begun, but the direction is clear, faster, farther, and more efficient than anything that came before. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.